When we looked to design an ergonomic mouse, we started from scratch. Traditional mouse design is actually a, more of a recipe for an injury. Existing mice um, automatically put your wrist in a, an extended posture, so it, put, it bends your wrist. And that, over time, can lead to problems, tendonitis, tenosynovitis, carpal tunnel syndrome. You can imagine an eight-hour workday, if you're in a position that's harmful to you for 90% of the day, you're going to have some long-term effects. So what we want to try and do is to get the hand into the most neutral position, which is where the hand is pretty straight and pretty flat. If the palm is supported by the mouse, it almost guarantees that the person's wrist will be in a neutral posture, which is the safest posture you can, you can be in. The latest research shows that not only is that a good position, but if you slightly angle the hand like this, this is the best position in terms of strain inside the carpal tunnel. Human scale calls the mouse the switch mouse because it accommodates both right and left-handed users in the same design. You flip the mouse over and there's a wedge piece and you simply remove it, turn the mouse, slide it in the other side, turn it back over and it can go from right to left-handed use very easily. We also wanted adjustability so that the mouse could fit anyone's hand properly and it wouldn't be too small, it wouldn't be too big, and the palm support would be right where it needs to be. When you buy the mouse, it comes with a hand sizing chart. And you put your hand on the chart and it tells you what number you are, and then you grab the mouse and you extend it and size it to fit your hand. It works automatically. People don't have to think much about it once they set, it, set the size correctly for themselves. The scroll device on the switch mouse was actually designed to reduce uh, the repetitive finger motion that we typically see with a traditional scroll wheel. If you've ever used a scrolling wheel and rolled over a long document over time, the amount of stress that it puts on that tendon is pretty significant. By using a puck design, we can actually have the user rely more on simple push-pull forces. In order to scroll up and down or left and right, all you do is push. So you're not um, repeating that motion over a long term and causing stress to your tendons. Of course, the switch mouse has all the functionality of any, any mouse on the market. We just try to make that functionality a bit easier to use, and, and of course you're using it while you're working safely uh, in, a, in an ergonomic position.